Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and I just want to apologize to start off because I promised that I'd do the um, video on the Disney Store Ice Racers next but I'm really kind of pressed for time right now and I apologize also that I didn't get a video out yesterday which is Sunday um, I was just really busy I, I um, had to tutor somebody and then I went to um, my niece's birthday party so I really apologize that I couldn't get a video out and then now I'm not doing the ice racers. It's just that today, Monday night, I'm kind of pressed for time. So I feel like I can get a quick, quicker plane um, review out. And since you guys, a lot of you guys wanted to do Vanderbird, um, and uh, you know I have no problem with that. So that just leaves Coyla Ivanov for the next review. And um, yeah, a few things I just kind of wanted to say. I wanted to say one that I feel like I can try to get a schedule going of videos on my YouTube channel. Um, like a schedule so you guys know when the videos are going to come out. Um, so like I, I think I could do one Saturday and Sunday for sure. And then if not, I mean maybe I slip, but I, most likely I can do those two days. And then have a video on Tuesday and Thursday as well. Um, but, you know, we'll see about that. I hope I can try to maybe just kind of get to that, um, get used to that. But, um, you know, I, that's just one thing I wanted to say. If you guys want me to do a schedule, I mean, let me know. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is I apologize. I, I'm, not, like, saying sorry a lot. But um, the behind-the-scenes video that, um, you know, if you guys wanted to see. And, you know, I, I definitely, you know, want to show you guys. If you guys want to see that, it's perfectly good time with me and so um i apologize i haven't got that video out though i mean that somebody suggested that to me in like early january even like maybe late december and i really feel bad that i haven't gotten that video but um i just you know haven't had the chance to make it but um i did show a preview to that thumbnail you know i showed a thumbnail in like one of the other videos or something um and i actually <laughs> totally scrapped that thumbnail. I made one about like a hundred times better and you'll see that the date for that coming out will be March 6th a Friday the Friday after this Friday coming up that might change though I have to say but most likely that'll be March 6th and uh, you know something to look forward to you guys but um so that's all I want to mention and now let's get on to uh, you know uh, Vanderbilt here and of course, if you guys don't know, this is the Dutch racer from the Netherlands. And, you know, he is, again, one of the five planes that was only released in Canada. And, um, of course, that's why they have the foreign packaging. No name on the side. And only has Vanderbilt on the back saying his name only and not showing other ones to collect. Which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, I don't really mind. I collect these loose anyways. Of course, there's a nice little bio picture of him. Looks very nice. Um, you know, I, I really do like Vanderbilt. There's a few things that I'm not too sure about him, but you know, we'll check that out when we get this out of the package. So that's pretty much all for the package, and you know, I'll be right back with this out. So here we are with Vanderbilt out of the package. And now, from what I can tell, I've been wrong about this many times, is that he is a, a remodel of the same model, basically, as Sunwing here, as you can see. The only plane that basically looks even similar, because these are the only two planes that have the double decker wings. All the other planes just have one wing going across, and these two, um, you know, have these two wings here, which are, you know, very nice and unique. I mean, I'm glad that they have, you know, a variety of each different kind of plane. And, you know, from what I'm taking a look at here, um, they are the same model, I know. I have like a thought that they um, were, you know, uh, the same model before, but uh, these are actually, I'm almost 100% sure, are the same model. So um, let's get on to Vanderbilt here. I mean, um, there's a few things I want to say. I mean, if you guys know the flag of the Netherlands, I'll probably have a picture coming up. It's red, blue, and white, just, you know, three stripes going um, from, you know, horizontally. And it's, it's nothing too kind of unique. I mean, a lot of, a lot of, um, Countries have a red, white, and blue flag in different formats, of course. But um, you're probably wondering, well, why is he orange then? If their country flag is red, white, and blue, shouldn't he be red, white, and blue? Like, you know, Vici, and who's red with that star? Just like the Turkish flag, and, you know, same thing with uh, 
uh, Little King, you know, he has the green, like Ireland. But uh, the thing, the reason why he's orange, which is the reason I can find out, is that, um, you know, the orange is the color of the Dutch royal house, and which hails from the House of Orange, which is kind of their government system. And, you know, that is just basically all I really know. I mean, so, and in soccer games, football games, um, you know, in the, like, World Cup, the Netherlands, their uniforms are orange, so it makes sense to me that um, he is orange, <laughs> unless he just really likes the color orange and wants to be painted that way. But so that's why I can tell from that's why he's th this color. Of course, he is number 55, which is a quite high number. You know, all the other planes kind of have a lower number, like um, some wing, for example, is eight, you know, and uh, you know, all the other ones have a relatively low number. But, uh, you know, he has a very high number, which, you know, it's nice to have some variety, of course. Um, one thing that I'm not too much of a fan of is that uh, I feel like he should be a darker color orange. I mean, in the movie, it shows him as more of a darker color orange, and he's just a really bright orange right now, kind of. I feel like it should be a little bit darker. Otherwise, you know, I feel like it's a great plane here. Um... He does have a nice like, smile expression on, you know, you can see that. Another thing I don't really care for is that they have the code, at least on mine, right below the mouth. And, you know, like, is that the mouth? No, that's a code. But, um, you know, why couldn't you put it, like, right there? I mean, you had to put it right there. Um, so that's another thing. That might be specific to mine, though. I'm not sure if that's different. But, um, you know, I just don't like that about mine. He does have some nice eyes, though, in the back. Uh, he has these kind of nice striped uh, wings on the front. You know, black. A dark orange and some whites. He's got the two, you know, his um, double decks. The same, they're the same exact wing. Um, wait, no, they're... Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They're just moved forward. Um, on the bottom, there's nothing. He does have the connector to other playsets, though. Um, and let's take a look. He's got quite a few details on the back here. Of course, he does have 55 again. And he's got a few of his sponsors. He has Hall Air, Aeroflex. Aeroflex is this one, like, closest to the, um, front here. This one, I'm not sure what it says, but this one up top is Hall Air. He does have a code there, just like all the other planes. KA307605. Not sure what that means. He's got another uh, sponsor up here, which... Uh, again, too small for me to read, but it's like some sort of blue sponsor or something. And then he kind of has these kind of wraps around him. I'm not really sure what to call these ribbons, but it's kind of these nice kind of white sketch designs going around them, which, you know, looks pretty cool. Makes it a little bit better than just orange. And he also has two kind of red-orange um, tail wings, you know, and gives some more, I guess, diversity, contrast to just being orange. So that's nice. Um, again, not too big a fan of this nub on the back. It'd be really nice if they actually could put a wheel there. But, you know, not too big a deal, I guess. I mean, you know, it still looks nice. And at least they made it plat. I think that's, no, that's metal. Because, when, of course, I already mentioned this in my previous video. But I put these on a glass coffee table, if you remember from my collection video. And, um, so, you know, it, that tends to get scratched. But, um, hopefully, I'll be careful with this guy. But, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for Vanderbird. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I would ask you what you wanted to see next. But you only have one choice, and that is Koyla Ivanov, the Russian racer. So, that will be definitely coming up this week, hopefully, maybe the weekend. And, again, I'll have that video. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera. But I'll have that video on the ice racers out as soon as possible. And, at, um, you know, Tell me if you want to see that schedule thing. And thank you guys for watching. Look forward to March 6th for the behind the scenes video. And I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.